weeks since I've been able to live cast anything. I've had a problem with my internet. So let me get you caught up a little bit here on what is going on. As you can see, currently we are, I've played, I'm backing up a little bit, I've played just a little ahead in my franchise. Uh, this is starting the stretch that starts uh, May 1st. As you can see, we're not doing so hot. Uh, we are sitting in fourth place behind the Kansas City Royals with the Royals at 16 and 9. Uh, the Tigers are only a game back. The Twins are two back. And then there's us uh, at three back. And then the White Sox are eight back with a record of eight and 17. The good news is, as you can see, like I said, we're only three games out. And today starts a very critical uh, stretch of two series. Uh, the first is against the uh, Tigers and then the Royals. So we do have a chance to make up some room. So I am going to play this first game. And the plan for today, and I know I don't always, uh, I'm not always able to, to fulfill what I say, which I apologize for. The plan's going to be, I'm going to play this game, and uh, then I'm going to try and uh, quick manage the rest of the games in this series for this episode. We'll see how that goes. We'll see what kind of time I've got left once I am off with, uh, once I'm done with this game. We are going to turn the quick counts on. Corey Kluber and Justin Verlander is our matchup this afternoon for this game. So you guys enjoy the game and uh, we'll talk probably as the game goes on, but we'll definitely do some more talking once this game is over. Oh, one final note. You see Austin Jackson down there. Uh, well, hold on. I'm here, I guess. MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Game one here in the month of May between the Cleveland Indians and the Detroit Tigers. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Justin Verlander. A Virginia-born right-hander gets the ball to start this one. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, he's had good success against left-handed hitters, hitting under 250 against him. When you're having that kind of success against the left-handers, you're going to be in a lot of games. Digging in the switch hitter, we got to get Carlos Santana, Santana going here. And Let's he see if we can get something of a non-threat with the bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Santana waiting on a 1 1. Not surprisingly, here, yeah, this is on the, the right ground to the start. right side. And Kinsler will flip it on to first for round number one. Now, a moment here for the Indians' starting lineup. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, this club is really struggling to score runs and down towards the bottom third. It puts so much pressure on your pitching staff when you're not scoring runs. So if they want to change their whole game and lift the whole morale of this club, score some runs. At the plate, Francisco Lindor. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Batting third, the left fielder, number 23, Michael Stepping into Brantley. the box, Michael Brantley. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. To Iglesias for one oh, right. on the first, but not in time as he beats it out. Hey, that's a really difficult Batting turn four. for a first baseman. When you Second have to come, baseman. get the ball, Jason. make a strong, Skipping. accurate throw. So you need two good throws, not an easy double play to complete. Mm -hmm. 
Stepping in, Jason Kipnis. He begins play in this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. All right. If you hear a noise in the background, I apologize. I have the volume on my television down, and I'm listening to the Cleveland Indians game on the radio while I'm pl while I'm playing. So if you hear it, uh, I apologize. Ready to deal. Here's the one-one, and there's one well above the zone for a ball. But maybe Harold, if you're an Indians fan and you're watching and you're here, tonight, they come in not the game, exactly setting lifting. the world on fire as they've brought five of their last eight ball games. Well, Matt, I mean, the simple way to put it, they lost their last game. This is where baseball comes the best to me, where all the cliches come in. You got to have a short-term memory, and you really do. The game's over. You can't do anything about it. You got to come back today and play better and win. Seems like he's really having a tough time finding that rhythm right here in the first inning. He walked a guy. Now he's falling behind this hitter. He better figure it out quick. Three and one now to Kipnis. Hit in the air out to center field. Collins is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Nothing doing against Verlander that time around. Indians nothing. Tigers coming to bat. More to come after this on MLB Network. Corey Kluber, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, looking at his numbers, he's got three times the strikeouts to Watts. And what that tells me, that's very good. He's going to dominate hitters. His stuff is electric. And if he continues to keep guys off balance and not walk hitters, he'll continue to have a successful season. We'll see if he's able to execute that game plan in this game. And this is fouled back and out of play. Kinsler's hungry to get a hit off me here. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And another foul ball. I can tell you, if you're wondering, that I did play the uh, whole game, the first series with the Tigers. Uh, I played a couple of them, and we already had a Verlander-Kluber matchup, and that game ended with Detroit winning 3-1. Uh, to one. Here's another 1-2. Nope. To two balls and two strikes now. Seems Corey like Kluber went eight innings, sink, I believe, in that game, off, so he and uh, he right there and gave up a so two-run homer in the eighth men. inning to Miguel Cabrera to make it uh, three to one. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. The two-two, one more time. Uh, he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. That was a fourth foul ball in this at bat. He is really making him work. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. Not so a good the leadoff list. man is on Come here on in the over. home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. And don't forget, he second. lost his last time Play out, so he wants to get off oh, on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Outside, two and one. Harold, we check out the tribe as they begin here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Well, Matt, this is almost like a home game. I mean, it's a very short trip. They travel well. The fan I see that I have the viewers, so welcome. We're in the bottom of the first inning, no score. Corey Kluber walked the leadoff batter here. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Again, he sends it that's out of play. Ian Kinsler that's on first base for Detroit. Another try at 2-2. In the dirt. Mm -hmm. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And I think that's the case of the pitcher being a little too preoccupied with the speed at first. He lost focus on making the pitch and throws an absolute scud. The irony, of course, is the runner's now on second, and he didn't even have to steal. No problem here. One away. A moment now in Motown to check out the Tigers' starting lineup. HR, how do they go about trying to start out the month with a win? 
Well, Matt, they're not going to run. I mean, they don't put a lot of pressure on you trying to steal bases. They'll take the extra base if they need to, but they don't run much. They're a team that sits there. They're going to be a lot base to base, rely a lot on the power. This is a total contrast to what we've been seeing throughout the league the last couple of years. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. And welcome to this next Got viewer. We are... Two outs here in the bottom of the first inning of this game. There is a runner on third for Detroit. No score. Corey Kluber versus Justin Verlander. Hit a couple of home runs against him. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one start of that swing a bit too early well this is what they didn't do yesterday execute with runners in scoring position so now you got a chance here it is already in this ball game you got a guy sitting there in scoring position drive him in and we'll have to leave it there as this is good way to end that inning because Kluber didn't have a lot of control Tigers lead so one that bear. Good, still good no score that out. in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. And they'll back him off a bit with a fastball in, but it's 3-1 and one now. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home there. plate. Verlander deals the 3-2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Tigers. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Striding in, Jose Ramirez. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Taken in by Kinsler. Throw on to first, and verlander has got it going here. Two away. Batting seven, the right fielder, number eight, Lonnie Chisenhall. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in. His line against Justin Verlander, 11 hits in 39 at-bats. He's taken him deep once. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a looper to left. Upton has it in his sights. And that's the third out. Down in order go the Tribe. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Digging in, Victor Martinez. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. the windup the 1 1 pitch a oh, little cool. bit outside 2 and 1 so let's take a peek at the umpiring crew working this one behind the plate is Eric Summersgill Summersgill's a little notorious for having a wide zone really frustrated for hitters I saw one guy turn around at him one day and yell is this a picnic table or is it a plate yeah he was tossed before he finished the sentence and Dan that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. All right, here's how the end is lined up defensively, brought to you Got by Majestic. Sense. 
And they've got a strikeout pitcher on the mound today. He's in the top five in strikeouts. And when you're defending behind him, you have to really concentrate because he can lull you to sleep thinking there's two strikes, he's going to get a strikeout, but that's when they get a ground ball. You've got to really concentrate. Here's Justin Upton now. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. A 1 1 now to Upton. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Hey, Matt, I like the cold weather strategy. You're probably saying, what's that, Harold? Well, the ball's up. He knows it's not going to carry on this cold night. So now you elevate out of the zone. And you hope they swing at it and get some cheap pop ups. Another one two delivery. Squared that one up just a little late. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And Upton swings and misses on a good pitch, and he set down on strikes for route number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this Nine inning. Seven. He looks really Nine sharp eight out eight there, five. guys. Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos now. Lifetime against Corey Kluber. Nine base hits in 24 at bats. He also has one home run. Kluber gets the sign. Here it is on 0 2. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swing and a liner, but this will be foul. Bottom of the second here with no score. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Well, I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get him to chase right there, make him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away, but he laid off it. I don't know how, but he did. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Ready with another 2 2. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Now another 2 2. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. And this is fouled back and out of play. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here he comes again. One, two. Swing and a miss on the slider. And that's out number one. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no Austin doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. In now, Austin Jackson. And, oh, he's really given some spring? leeway on the outside edge here. Wow. Two and two now. He looks really strong here early yeah, in this game, and that court, fastball I, is a good example. I guess across the Put court, that thing in a great know. spot and right where he wanted it. Set to deal on two and two. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. But this will be taken easily at first, and there How are two it? gone. First baseman, Carlos Santana. Striding in once again, Carlos Santana. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. 
Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full down, three and two. Francisco Lindor would be next. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see. Might have been one. a little late well, on that. The rocking the chair right now. Maybe it's pretty up, late, actually. Fastball, he's a little late with that swing. I may go back with another changeup. Swing and a miss for strike three. Well, Verlander's kind of brought that time, it. And the inning is over. Indians go down one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Stepping up now, Tyler Collins. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Into the box, James McCann. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Brantley. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The batter number three, second baseman, Ian Kinsler. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ian Kinsler. He drew a walk his first time up. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Lindor loves it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Three innings in the books, no score on MLB Network. With Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian here as Francisco Lindor gets ready to kick off the inning. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Uh, I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Grounded back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting, left fielder. Michael Brantley. Ready for another chance. Michael Brantley comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3 and 1. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. <clears throat> He's right on that breaking ball. That's pretty good timing right there, especially falling up after a fastball. This is pulled into right. There's a hit all around. That's a strong hitter right there. Slider in on his hands, and he still is able to muscle it out far enough for a base hit. It's 
play some small ball, baby. Stepping here. in now, Jason Kipnis runs up and gets this one down. Pro gets him, two down. Hey, he tried the surprise attack there with the bunt with the runner on base. Hey, he gets thrown out, but it works just as good as a sacrifice. Riding into the box, Edwin Encarnacion, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw, oh, not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Hey, that's not easy to do, to steal third off a catcher that has an elite arm like Good this. Job, Great base running there. The one and two again. pitch. Adi ah. pops it up. Drifting that just beyond idea, the infield. Anyway, I guess. Kinsler is there for it. And the inning is over. We are in Motown, but I don't think we'll be seeing any of these people dancing in a soul review tonight. Don't to touch that remote. Idiots. More on MLB Network right after this. All right, that was enough of that. Digging in for his second at bat, Jose Iglesias. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup. Here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Tap down the line. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And the sinking fastball, cold strike three. Who was it? Cooper's really one. bringing it tonight. Two all he's right. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's the six to this point. So he's got ball. good stuff, and he's yeah. fooling a lot Gotta of these get hitters. Him some runs. Standing in now, Miguel Cabrera, and he misses two and one. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, if you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. The two and one on its way. Hard hit at third. Ramirez is there. Throw on to first will take care of Cabrera for the second out. The right fielder, number 28, J.D. Martinez. Standing in, J.D. Martinez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Two out, nobody on. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Tigers through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Digging in to try it again. Jose Ramirez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Castellanos Damn. has a tough play, but he ranges back to put it away for the first out. Right. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that this staff okay, that currently first, leads the AL in ER. that category. No, third, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought it was second. So coming to the plate, Lonnie Chisenhall. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. No runs, just one hit. No errors to this point for the Indians. This one's chopped foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so this it's is a guy I got to go into. This is just like uh, stuff the real life Yon Jones not doing too well. That's exactly what he did right there. 
got him swinging as he runs the Black fastball by him thing. to end the inning. Down in order go the tribe. Halfway home, still no score. Here's the switch hitting Victor Martinez. He'll start things out here against Corey Kluber. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. So striding forward now, Justin Upton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Started go. to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Full count. Here it comes. Oh, and he come lays on. off there. Ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Working for the punch out and the offering. Grounder oh. hit hard down the first baseline. Go That's over a there. hit. The first of the game for the Tigers. And to score, the runner from second. And not in time as the second run score. Usually a hitter will shorten the swing with two outs, but not this guy. He puts a big charge into this one and drives in a couple of runs along the way. That can be frustrating as a pitcher when you had a gun in the ropes and you couldn't finish him off, especially when he drives in runs. Into the box now, Tyler Collins. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Hit out towards second. Kipnis is there. And he's retired one away. Now batting. Catcher. James McCann. Ready now. James McCann. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Trying to do way too much up there from what I can tell. He knows that's a big run standing there at third, but that swing was way out of control. You still have to stay within yourself and look for your pitch. Chisholm is in pursuit, makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And the run is in to score from third. Hey, one of the things you want to do as an offense, right, is stay fundamental and keep pushing. A great job there. Sack fly pushes the third run across in this inning. Here's the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. In there, 1 and 2 now. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Now another one-two. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Yeah, I don't well, know. He saw Kluber's gonna go very in the far this game. Sink. He fouled off a bunch of pitches and then one. was able to get the pitch he wanted and get a base hit.
Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off well, one and two. Well, the good news is, is I did happen to see the ticker at the bottom of the screen, and it does look like in real time that Kansas City is losing, so we won't be too far out of it if we don't win this game. However, they were playing Minnesota, so we'll lose hit in the air. some ground. Santana in foul ground. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning. No errors, and a runner left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Tigers lead it three to nothing. Here's Austin Jackson, the center fielder. He'll start things out in their half of the Let's get somebody up here and throwing in the bullpen. So the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Here's Carlos Santana now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Some action now in the Tigers' bullpen as they'll get a left-hander and a right-hander up the throw. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Collins is after it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting, shortstop, Francisco Lindor. So here's Francisco Lindor now. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Collins will get there wow. and he puts okay. it away to retire the side. Indians go down one, two, three. They trail it here three to nothing. The first baseman Miguel Cabrera stands in. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. One and two. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's another one two. Lays off two and two now. Well, you got to like how this inning's starting off. He starts the inning with a pretty high pitch count, and your first guy to the plate makes him work. This is playing right into your hand right now on the offensive side. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here's another 2 2. A shot down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And he's safe. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this right. year, but Fielder you never know about that swing. He Fielder looked fluid Fielder and confident Fielder. driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Hard hit ball to second. Kipnis has it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. All right, I think I'm going to turn... Victor Martinez around. Stepping here. in and ready for another shot. Bringing Kyle Crockett. The I know that uh, to make that slow he's to not the uh, and it really on the real roster, but he's on this one. 
So he'll depart after we just five weren't able to get Corey Kluger in the offense no here to win the uh, this afternoon. Too bad because it was a pretty good performance by him. Kyle Crockett, a six-foot, two-inch left-hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Kyle Crockett. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a way to be able to get One some offense here third. for Corey Kluber because this is the second start in a row. He's had a good start spoil. Now a swing oh, and a get fly there, ball. Get there, get there. And wow. it in fact lands in the corner. That was foul. close. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's in the center field. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Well, Matt, with the runner at third base and less than two outs, there's so many ways to score a oh, run by just putting Number the ball eight. in play. That one Just there, in. instead of hitting the ground there. ball to somebody, at somebody, he hits it right back up the middle and picks up the run. Either way, it works for me. He puts the ball in play. Into the box, Justin Upton. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Jackson comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The third baseman, number nine, Nick Castellano. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Nick Castellanos. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. Tyler Collins would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Just a bit jumpy that time, swung on and missed. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Kipnis ranging to his right. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Tigers get one here on two hits in the inning. We're through six on, full. Guys, we can it's the Tigers four go. and the Indians nothing. Back here now at Comerica Park in Detroit. We're through the first six innings with the Tigers on top. And before we start the seventh, let's take a look at our game summary. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Brantley. A hit in two tries so far. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. That's lifted the other way out to left. Upton's under it. One down. Second base for number 22, Jason Kipnis. Ready once again, Jason Kipnis. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball through a strike. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Hard hit ball to second, but yeah. this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for route good. number two. Now batting, designated hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. Edwin Encarnacion now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take base runners any way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. Ready for another shot now. Jose Ramirez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And there's his first base hit in this one. Hey, that's a base hit right there. Now they got two runners on. This may be their best opportunity to the get right on the board. They've been shut eight. out the whole game. Lonnie Chisenhall. Ready for another chance. Lonnie Chisenhall. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. 
And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Indians strand a couple. They're on the Striding in once again, Tyler Collins. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Now here's the pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. To two balls and two strikes now. All even at two and two. Here it is. And here's a slider. Strike three called. And that'll be the first out of the inning. The catcher, number 34. James Settling McCann. in now, James McCann. He hit a sack fly earlier. He's fallen behind now, three and one. In the on-deck circle, Ian Kinsler, he'll hit next. Bases are empty, one man out. In there, and it's full three and two. Thing has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. The next 3 2. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. The batter, second baseman, Ian Kinsler. So coming to the plate, Ian Kinsler. He enters this at bat, one for two with a walk. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Here's the pitch. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now, three and two. Really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. And now here's Kinsler with a drive. High and deep to left field. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. That's a good pitch right there, believe it or not. You got the change up and you got him out in front. Yeah, he had a foul ball home run, but that's what it is. A foul ball. Skied in the air to straightaway left. After it is Brantley. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit, but they hold a four to nothing lead. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Now the Tigers have some action in the bullpen as a left-hander starts to get loose. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Martinez has a read on it. One away. The batter. Eighth Center inning Fielder. at Comerica Park. Austin. You get a look at our line Jackson. score there with the Tigers leading this one at home and trying to finish this one off. Here's Austin Jackson, the center fielder. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here's the 1-1 one one delivery. Lifted in the air to center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, first baseman. Carlos Santana. Here's Carlos Santana now. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. 
Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning. One, two, three. Collins is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. And a ball pop fouled. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. I'm not sure what happened there, but okay. Digging in to try it again. Miguel Cabrera is working on a one for three thus far. Now some movement in the tribe bullpen as a right hander starts to loosen up. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Jackson will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. The right fielder, number 28. Now with the plate, J.D. Martinez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. From the belt, the pitch. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Yeah, I'm going to go to the bullpen here. Here's the switch hitting Victor Martinez. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. Brian Shaw answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Brian Shaw. Ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Lifted down the line and right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Ready with another 0-2. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him well, in this game. The cutter eight. darting in on the hitters Ten. in the opposite Ten. batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Foul back. Another one two delivery. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Again, a one-two. And the oh, inning right. goes away in unceremonious oh, fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep them out of danger. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. set for what's left of this ball game from Detroit as we welcome you back to this MLB Network broadcast. So here's Francisco Lindor now. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Liner towards second. Oh. Throw on to first That's for about the what out the story and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. 
Oh, man, you can't, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. Hit hard on the ground to second, there and go. that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Well, that's another single, the second hit of the game. He's having a good May. You know, you start looking at May as a player and you say, I'm partway through the season. I'm starting to get settled in. This is a great start to the year. He's over 300. He's off to a great start. No, well, Kansas City was losing. Looks like they're winning now. Now the Tiger skipper's up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen. That'll end the evening for Justin Verlander. Alex Wilson answers the call from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. In now, Jason Kipnis hits sharply toward the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, that base hit. I see I have a viewer. Welcome, we are at the top of the ninth inning. Unfortunately, we are losing 4 nothing. Next guy gets on. It sets up that big granny. Detroit scored a pair of runs in the fifth. And then again in the sixth, I believe it was either the sixth or seventh. And uh, unfortunately, Corey Kluber had a great outing today, only giving up two hits. But the story of this one has been very little offense. So we've got two on here on the top of the ninth with one out. Yeah, and did win in Let's see what hey, we can do they here. They string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. And it looks like a right-hander's got enough to throw in the Tiger bullpen. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Oh High yeah! In the air I think. To left field. Under it. Maybe not. I guess not. Yeah, that's and been part of the story of this one. Out. Who hit the ball hard, but uh, they've been right at somebody here the last few meetings at least. It was a good ride, though, I guess. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Lifted the other way out to left center. Collins on the move. And a dive out there in left center, but he can't come up with it. Uh, go home. Jeez. And they'll get back a run here as they're on the board. It's 4-1. to one. He's got to feel good about himself. A multi-hit game. Right he knows he's been struggling. Eight. We know he's been struggling. Money. Maybe Shit's this is the home. start of good things to come. Well, at least we get a run out of this, I guess. Chiz in the ball. Stepping in now, Ronnie Chisenhall. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. And that's going to do it as the catch is made. And the Tigers have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking oh. to keep it rolling the rest of the way. A four to one yeah, that's a this evening's game. disappointing a start to this series. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can finish the series up here on Quick Manage. Let's see if Carlos can, uh, Carrasco can save us here a little bit. Let's play ball. All right, all right. A better start already. Let's try and get at least one run out of this. There we go. All right. Oh, right. 
So that erases that for us. Big strikeout already. Three. We'll go ahead and we will put Brandon Skyer in there for reply. He doesn't Play ball. Three. Ah. Tried to get to a person. So we can do the double play. Ridiculous. Three! Ball four, take your break! Ball four, take your break! Five run first inning there. That's a good one. Or second inning, excuse me. Oh, 
Attention, please. Now pitching for the Tigers. Number four, 30. Four. Take your break. Alex. What a sign. Three. It looks like uh, Salazar's got a lot of energy, so I'll let him finish this game. Get the shutout, at least. So we get a complete uh, game shutout for Danny Salazar. Let's uh, finish up here with uh, one more quick manage game. Maybe I should have just managed this whole series, huh? Because we're doing a lot better than I did when I tried to play. place Austin Jackson if you're wondering how Anthony Ghost ended up on my roster Tyler Naquin ended up uh, suffering a very serious injury and he is going to be out for the rest of the year so I signed uh, Anthony Ghost to a contract we'll see how he does for me and here we got a one run lead already all right Guy or okay. Ball four, take your base. He's out. Great. 
Miller had a heck of an outing. Let's go ahead and bring on Cody Allen to close this thing out. for the Indians, number 37, Cody Allen. Now pinch hitting, J.D. All right. Well, we start this series out with a disappointing uh, 4-1 loss to the Tigers, but we come back and we get three pretty dominating pitching performances, and we are able to win this first critical series 3-1. to one. Let's go ahead and check out where we are here. That puts us in second place uh tied for second it looks like three and a half games behind the royals just like the tigers are and the twins are breathing down our backs as well and that is really just in time because as you can see we have another very critical series coming up a three game series coming up against the Kansas City Royals and that is all the time that I have for this live stream catch us on our next live stream we will do like what we did here we will play at least one of these games versus the Royals probably the MLB Network game and then we will quick manage our way through the rest of the series but again uh, the first critical series of this year is behind us we win a four game series with Detroit that pretty much to this point at least saves our season and gives us a chance at the postseason still even though it's early so once again thank you for watching this live stream of my MLB 17 Cleveland Indians franchise we'll try and start the next one by Wednesday at least but uh, folks, you have a great week in case uh, we don't see you, see you until next week at this time. Thank you for joining us. So long, everybody.